Hello. Welcome to Vlogmas. Day 11. If I can open it. Oh man. Let's see if this little thing is open. Are there any? Yes. I should be searching this more. I'm sorry if you saw my pet. <laughs> Maybe that's where all the missing pieces are. Day 11. Who knows? Maybe these aren't even part of this. Maybe they've fallen down. I don't know. That'll be the last day. I'll go through and, and see if I can find all the rest of the missing puzzle pieces. <laughs> Hmm. It actually makes me feel better that you know, I'm not losing my mind in a really dumb place where they could be that I never looked. Anyway, um, hmm. How do I get on with the video? The video today I'm going to call Catch You Being Good. Now, not an original idea. Original, I think, to see as like a counteractive way of coping with a point personality disorder. Um, I know it as a technique for parenting. And yes, basically I'm saying parent yourself. Um, which is, you know, you, you want whoever, including yourself, to um, basically deal with life, um, to, to do life uh, in a way that allows you to function, right? So your first instinct is to do what you know, which is to be self-critical and um, to focus on all the negative things that have ever happened in your life and um, replay them in your head all the time. Um, and I mean, you don't have to think about it. You just do that. That's just like mm, life. Sad but true for a lot of people with a void personality disorder. Now, what I'm suggesting is you're going to reject it. I'm sure you're going to reject it. Uh, you're going to reject it because I know it would work. And I can't do it in my own life. And I reject it as, like, even something that's possible. Um, but it would work. And what that is, is, like I said catch you being good and what I mean by that is literally you know you geez this is hard to explain it's hard to explain without because I feel very much that I'm going to be absolutely rejected with this is the craziest thing you've ever said and or I've already done that for years and it doesn't work um Maybe. Maybe you had a really good therapist that suggested this before. I've never heard it from a therapist. Um, I've had a therapist go, oh my God, it was so embarrassing. I had a therapist who wrote up this literal massive, you know, those really huge notebook things. They're not notebooks, they're notepad things that they have in like, they were, they have them they i in my experience i've always seen them at work um I, they probably use some sort of projection now but basically they write this massive notepad notes for you you know as they're going so you don't have something set up this therapist made me come up with positive things about myself because again she didn't understand that cbt doesn't work 
wrote them on this notepad thing and left it up for all of her clients to see. It's like horrifying. Okay, I'm not suggesting you do that. <laughs> However, I am suggesting that you try to note and of, of when you're doing something good in your life. It does work. <laughs> I'm like that. I, I feel like it should work, but it won't work. It's kind of like, you know, how I completely live my life. I keep saying that about these puzzles, that they seem to be like symbolic of how I live my life. That should work, but it's not going to work. But I know it's not going to work because I know it. And of course it does work. What the heck's wrong with me? Okay, see, there we go. This is what I'm talking about. That's what you should not do. That's what you should not do. What you should do instead is catch yourself when you're doing a good thing. So what? Here's an example. Maybe. Here's an example. Oh, look, I just did a good thing. I just put that puzzle piece in the correct spot. Oh, look. I'm going to force this to fit, even though it doesn't want to. Because you know what? This, these are backwards. Oh, you know what? I just did a great thing. I just cor I found what the problem is, and I solved it and corrected it. And bizarre, right? But that is that is basically the process to quote unquote catch you being good. Is um literally every single little thing that you do. And I mean sometimes you need this in your life and and sometimes you don't and sometimes it's like ridiculous and sometimes it's, it's good but you know when you're feeling less confident there we go i just got another piece in good for me there's another piece it's going in right there look i got another piece in i mean that's ridiculous right but when you're really feeling sort of down on yourself it's helpful. No, that doesn't go there. But that goes there, which makes me think that the entire thing is off somewhere. Maybe it's one of these holes in the top here. Nope, that's not right. Is that right? I don't know. I'll figure that out later. It's sad. It's sad how much these puzzles can drive me crazy. Um... I'm getting to the point in 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 vlogmas can you tell i'm sure you can tell i think it's like totally obvious that like i feel the second judgment of everything that i'm doing and like i'm not doing anything correctly and i'm saying really lame things and on and on and on 
extreme self. I mean, I, I was seriously like, maybe I can just do like an ASMR video today. <laughs> And not actually say anything at all. Could I get away with that? See, again, I'm like, it should go there. And then I'm like, well, maybe it doesn't. And then, uh, uh, that's long enough. That's one line. Feels like the whole thing is off. Whatever, I'll figure it out at some point. So I'm super distracted and and feeling like I'm starting it not. be able to give good advice. <laughs> this is a bad combination. Oh, I think it's a little cat. Um, for trying to make video today. I really was like, mm, I just don't and I'm like, no, just don't 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 even think that way. Just do it. Just do it. There we go. See? Yeah. And there's a little cat. Um I mean, that is super common that people can be doing things and doing things and doing things and then suddenly it just feels like totally wrong. Um, and again, But see, I just found the correct piece for that. That is catch yourself doing good. So when you have these sort of overarching um, ideas about what's happening in your life and, and whether anything you're doing is good, bad, or ugly, you know, um, if there's, you know, you have any sort of, um, I don't know, like these repetitive, I mean, the, okay, the point of avoiding personality disorder is you have a genetic pre, um, predisposition to getting it, and among that is sort of extra sticky neural pathways so that you get caught up in whatever kind of thought process that you have, and it just sticks there forever, and... You can't um, come up with a new way of thinking. You just go back to the old ways of thinking. And and it feels totally comfortable to be thinking in this bizarre way that really has nothing to do with reality. I mean, these are going to fit on here, even if they don't fit this shirt. I don't get it. These fit perfect. See that? That doesn't look like a perfect fit to me. Anyway, um, so when you um, have this sort of automatic thinking that is just for people with avoidant personality disorder, it's going to be ruminating about things that bothered you. It's going to be, you know, permanently um, chastising yourself again and again and again forever about any simple silly thing. You know, you just can't let anything go. Um, no, these are wrong. These are just wrong. Let me go like this. They're just wrong. Nope, that one doesn't go there. But they don't. 
see how that has a little bit on the end. And that fits on there. See, but that fits perfect. This is going to drive me crazy. I mean, it's kind of the point of the puzzle is to drive you crazy, right? Bingo. And then that fits there, and then that fits there. Okay, there, I figured it out. See? Now, what I'm thinking right now is, oh my god, I'm so completely lame, I can't even sort out this simple little puzzle. Um, but, what I should be, should be, should is a terrible word. I made an entire video about how much I hate that word. See this, I don't think this even goes with this puzzle because I found those extra pieces. But I don't know, we'll find out. Um, basically, I, um, what I should be doing, despite it being an evil word, is trying to um, focused on that I did anything positive at all in this. You know, here's a little win. Here's a little win. Look. I got another piece in. Okay, maybe I didn't. There, I got another piece in. I don't know if that one goes there. I'm figuring it out. I'm getting another piece in. And that is how you do the catch yourself being good. That is the entire process. You just go, okay, well, look. I did something right. I did something right. Over and over and over again. I did something. I did something right. Um... And the goal is, that one's not right. <laughs> you must go, I don't know. See, here's the thing, is I think I'm getting extra pieces. On the one hand, that seems paranoid. On the other hand, you saw that I, I haven't had all the pieces for all the puzzles. We'll see. I'll get through this, and if there's any extras, we'll know for sure. That's what it is. This is definitely not here. Be crazy. <laughs> and I'm not even talking, and I'm supposed to be making a video here. Okay, so the entire point. Uh, didn't I just have that there? <laughs> the entire point of the catch you being good philosophy is that um, literally every single thing, and I mean, you know, again, you don't have to do this all the time, you start very, very small with a, oh, look, I walked
walked into the kitchen and I remembered what I was going in here for. Great. Um, and then you build it. You, you sort of, you sort of get used to being able to say, okay, yeah, this is a fact. I did this factual thing, which is a good thing. I did this thing. This is real. I did it. And then you sort of get used to being able to say that, oh yes, not a hundred percent totally incompetent all the time. I did this thing correctly. Um, I know that's so harsh, but for real, that's how it works. Um, I did this thing right. Yeah, look, one, two, three, and there's five pieces. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of pieces in here. Um, I'll have to look at the ones that I put together that had missing pieces to find out where these pieces go. So here's this plus two extra pieces. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, um, yeah. Um, so yes. So you, you start by doing the most simple things like, okay, I made it to my job within 10 minutes. So I was late, but I still got there and I wasn't so late that it was a big problem. I mean, unless you've got a job where punctuality is, is super gigantic. I mean, if that's the case, then getting to work on time is great. You know, um, every, literally everything. I took my vitamins today, whatever, the medications that you needed. You know, it's just, yeah, it's in your screen. Um, all these things. Um you get used to the idea that you can say a factual thing that is positive, catch you being good. And then once you've basically gotten into that habit, um, then when you deal with something that's much bigger and worse, um, something that really, um, your self-esteem is latched onto and wants to attack you for, then you're already in the practice. You've got the neural pathways set in your brain the same way you've got all these negative things that, you know, that you're remembering some dumb thing that you did when you were three years old, who knows, um, that you just can't let go. The same thing you've got in your head, these neural pathways that allow you to catch yourself being good, allow you to say factually, uh, factual things that are accurate and positive and just sort of let them be. And then you can use that as um, a way to temper down the, you know, raging self hate that sometimes pops up when you have a point personality disorder when you do something that's imperfect or weird or whatever that you can say okay oh my god this thing happened it was terrible but I did this or this or this that were correct and it evens out the other and eventually I don't know if it's possible in theory, you'll just do good more often. Uh, you're motivated to try to do the good things more often and to not dwell on the negative. I don't know if that part will actually happen. That's the part of it, you know, with kids. That if you focus on the good things instead of the bad, then the bad things sort of just disappear. I don't know if that happens as an adult with avoidant personality disorder. Um, but definitely the um, counteracting all your negative thoughts um, as a practice. Once you've got the neural pathway set, then, um, then it's, it's much easier to do going forward. And also, I just realized I didn't put my little lights on in here. So it's probably super dark. Sorry about that couldn't actually do like t 
totally correct video, now could I, anyway. Um, and I'm glad I found those extra pieces because I was going crazy about what's going on. I don't know. I'll put them together in the correct way eventually. So I'm going to end the video. And I hope you have a good day. And I'll talk to you tomorrow and hopefully I'll be uh, slightly more coherent. <laughs> Bye.